Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Single Dad's Cookbook. Um, today we're going to be making haggis bonbons with a homemade tomato sauce. So first of all, we're going to get the tomato sauce on the go. So for this, we've got tomatoes, red pepper, garlic, ginger, onion, some thyme, some basil and some salt and pepper. <laughs> so first thing we're going to do, just cut the tomatoes in half. Nice and straightforward. Then we're going to take the pepper. We're just going to take the sides off it, off the pepper, just like in the other videos, moving it round. And we're just going to cut this into chunks. Guys, I really appreciate you watching the videos. Um, I appreciate all the likes that I'm getting and all the comments as well. Um, pretty positive feedback. A lot of people saying that they, they love the videos and the food looks great and they're going to try it at home. That's what this is all about. It's simple ingredients, simple cooking, great results. So we've got that. I've got a bulb of garlic here. Cut it in half and we're going to just take all those bits of garlic and we're going to put them in a roasting tray. Um, so we've got the onion. Again, big chunks here. So just Nice and big. We're going to be roasting these all off in the tray. So once they're all in your tray, we're going to just coat it all in a bit of oil just to help the roasting process. Then we're going to put salt, pepper all over and then the basil and the thyme. Now you want to put that in a roasting tray. Um, Celsius is about 150 to 180, depending on your oven, if it's uh, fan assisted or not. And then you want to just roast it until all the juices start coming out of the tomatoes. The, obviously, the longer you roast it, the deeper the flavour. So it is up to you. And like I was saying, guys, I do appreciate all the all the feedback. Um, and, and guys telling me how they've changed the recipe or they used to have a different recipe. That's the thing about this. It's whatever your family likes. So, um, and I hope they'll enjoy this one. So give it a mix and we're going to pop that in the oven. So here we've got the haggis and we've got a dredging station set up. So uh, I've got some flour that I'm just adding some salt, pepper and a little bit of paprika to. I've got a couple of eggs mixed up. And I've got some breadcrumbs and I've got the haggis there as well. Now, with this, you can have, honestly, how you dredge your your um, haggis is down to you. If you've got a preferred dredging uh, style, do that, whatever floats your boat. So I've took the skin off the haggis and I'm just cutting it up into sections. Um, the reason I do this is it just makes it a lot easier uh, to handle and uh, get into the ball shape that we're going to be using. So you can make them into croquettes, you can make them into um, little balls, big balls. It depends on what you're having them for. These are a great little appetizer um, um, at the start of a meal if you're making a Scottish dinner. Um, Burns night, these would be brilliant. It's just another, um, rather than just having haggis, neeps and tatties, there is other ways that you can use it. So there you go, um, just rolling them into that. So as you can see there, I've done the whole haggis and then what we do is just drop it in the flour, give it a mix around, then into the egg, give that a mix. Again, I know you should be using wet hand, dry hand, all that kind of stuff. It's just whatever f is easier for you guys. Back into the flour, back into the egg, and then into the breadcrumbs. And you want to just make sure these are completely coated, and then you set them aside. So just completely coat them up, and then pop that just to one side. I'm just going to repeat the process again for you so you can see that. So flour, egg. Back into flour, so you've got a nice coating. Also gives it a nice crust on the haggis balls. 
or bonbons as they're poshly known as. Then back into the breadcrumbs and you just repeat the process. Like I said, if you've got an easier um, dredging method, use it. If you've got a, a better way of doing it, just whatever way suits you guys. So there you go. Got them all done. Um, at this stage, you want to now put, pop them in the fridge for about half an hour um, so that you can let them firm up. At this point, you have got the uh, tomatoes out the oven. And you want to get yourself a sieve. Now you can just blitz this. It is completely up to you. Um, I've used a steel sieve with um, a wooden spoon. Um, just to get all the um, little bits. So give it a bit of a mix. Then I, I squeeze out the garlic. The garlic's all in. Still in that bulb. So take that. Watch it is hot. So be careful. Give that a squeeze so you've got all that beautiful roasted garlic flavour. And you just want to pass this through. This way, all the paper, all the skin, all the excess um, bits that you don't want come th get stopped. So once you've done that and you've managed, it can take a little while, you just want to do it. Now, the secret is all this stuff on the back of the sieve, that is all the good stuff. So you want to put that in there. Um, now, initially, I start off with a big pot here. Um, but then I, I do transfer it into a smaller pot just so that it's it's easier to add all the extra little bits and pieces into. Now on here we want to add a little bit of ginger. So as you can see I've transferred that into a smaller pot. We want to just grate a little bit of ginger. You want probably for the, this amount you want about half a teaspoon of ginger so you can just see there it's all in the back and a little bit's gone onto the board i just scrape that off and pop that in there now what we want to do is we want to add in another few flavors into this so we give that a bit of a stir um we're adding in you know, just off camera there some worcestershire sauce so we've just added that in and we're going to give that a bit of a, uh, a mix. Here I'm adding in some chilli flakes as well. Just to give it that background heat along with the ginger. So we've got the heat and the sweetness of the tomatoes. Um, now if it is a little bit tart. So you're just cooking that through now. You want to reduce it a little bit. If you are cooking this through. You can add a, a little bit. Of, once you've seasoned the sauce. You can just double check the seasoning and if you need to add a little bit of sugar in there, that will just lift the whole dish. At this point you can see now we're just um, skillet frying or shallow frying the haggis balls. And you all you want to do is you just want to make sure that these are covered and, and you're just turning them when they get golden brown. With haggis you've got to make sure it's piping hot in the middle. So you just want to keep turning these and keep turning them until they're getting golden brown. And you want to just keep that going. At this time as well, you can see the sauce is thickening up beautifully. Um, nice little dipping sauce that you've made. And you can see these, these are becoming uh, almost done. Now, um, a little tip that I, tr well, uh, I found is, uh, very carefully, you can just submerge them there just to get the final cooking elements done. And then it's all about just plating up and getting yourself ready. So I've got a little... Uh, dish here that's three components in the middle one I'm just going to pour in that beautiful roasted tomato sauce and chilli there you go and then we're just going to plate up the haggis balls and there you see how thick and luxurious that is and we're just going to pop these haggis balls in there and there you have it guys I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you try this it's another take on haggis I hope you are all staying safe out there Okay, from my family to yours, till the next time, thanks for watching.